is Chris, and we are going, well, I am going to cook <clears throat> this, ooh, it looks so good, um, read an article about dry brining beef, and so what I've done with this particular really nice looking piece of beef is I've taken one half tablespoon of salt per pound. This is a three pound chuck roast that I got from the local food lion. So I have <clears throat> sprinkled that salt over both sides and let it set for a day. So we're going to see if this works. This is kind of an experiment. I love to cook beef. Generally what I do is I just put it in a pan in the oven, salt the heck out of it, put a bunch of pepper on it, and just cook it for a little while. But I'm going to try to do more of a roast kind of thing. So here we've got the beef. <clears throat> we've got our Dutch oven right here. I'm going to put it in the oven. And then I'm going to add some carrots, mushrooms, red potatoes, and can't see it too well. It's an onion. I'm going to cut up most of that bad boy, put it in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got the oven, the, <coughs> the oven, the oven preheating to 350 degrees. We have a convection oven, so I know it'll heat evenly. We're going to get this roast ready and put it in the pan. Maybe put a little more oil in there, and then we're going to cook it for about an hour. The recipe I've got says 375. I'm going to cut it back to 350 and maybe cook it for like 45 minutes and see how it looks. This is kind of, again, this is kind of an experiment, so I don't want to get it overcooked, but I do want to get it done enough so when I add all of this stuff, <clears throat> I can turn it down to a lower temperature and then get it cooking for about another hour or two hours, and hopefully what we'll end up with is a really good meal. So here we go. To simply put the roast in the pan, it's already been salted as I've indicated before, so I really don't want to salt it anymore. I don't think. I think I'll put some pepper on it. I did put some oil in the bottom of the pan so as it heats up it won't stick. Uh, a minute ago Lincoln was over here very interested, but now he's eating his food so he's not so interested anymore. So I'm going to let the oven heat up. It's at 300 right now. It should be ready in a second. I'm going to pop that puppy in there and let it cook. I'm not going to cover it up yet. I'm going to let it cook at 350 for about 45 minutes. So I'll go ahead and set the timer. And I'll be back when we get to that point. Talk to you soon. We've added thus far to our mix while I'm waiting for the beef to cook. We've got uh, about a half a pound of onion. I mean, excuse me, of pepper. I'm getting ahead of myself. We've got a package of mushrooms in there. <clears throat> I think that's going to make it taste good. So let's add some more to our bowl here. A half, here's the other half there, of a rather large yellow onion. <clears throat> uh, yeah, just a regular onion, not the Vidalia kind. I like a little bite to my onion, so that's what I chose to use. Put some red potatoes in there, quartered, and some celery along with the celery, along with the celery leaves. I really got the smell of the celery. When I cut into those leaves, I'm going to leave those in there because I think that's going to add some really good flavor. So, <coughs> so here we are. We have our uh, accompaniment ready. And we have about another 35 minutes for that beef to finish its initial cooking. So I'm going to go back, maybe watch something on TV. And we're going to wait for that roast to finish cooking that first part. And then we're going to add all this stuff to it. I tell you what, I'm really hungry. This really looks good, doesn't it? Okay. See you in a minute. What we have thus far, we have, ooh, looking good, roast, <coughs> excuse me, and item. So what we're gonna do here, we're going to add a little bit of water into here, maybe about two inches. And then we are going to add our veggies. And then we're going to cook this for about another hour. We're going to reduce the heat to about 300 degrees and just let that simmer in there. 
course my hope is it will all just kind of cook down and be very tasty. So, ooh, let's just get get this party started. Like going in. Wow, this is what it looks like going in. <clears throat> we'll just have to see. I'm gonna check this. I put an hour on the timer. We'll just have to see how it looks. I'm gonna check it in about a half an hour and see if this is like cooking down into the liquid. So we have. Um, have, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes because you know how vegetables cook; they tend to they tend to shrink. So I hope it works out. If it doesn't, we'll just add a little bit more water and add a little bit more time. A half an hour later, it's looking very, very good, and it smells awesome. I think I might raise the roast out from underneath the vegetables and try that, <clears throat> but wow. It smells, oh, it is so awesome. Okay, be back in a little bit. It's the roast out of, out, well, out from underneath the vegetables. And you can see where I stabbed it with a fork. Still quite rare on the inside, but wow, looking so good. So I'm gonna, we have about 25 minutes to go. So we will check it at that time. Friends, this is what we've ended up with. Nirvana. Oh yes. It looks so good. And I'm going to enjoy eating it. So, I think I will go do that now. And we will maybe have a follow-up report on how good it tasted. But seriously, do you have any doubts? I don't. Talk to you soon. Okay, so I made a little gravy out of the juice oh yes looking very good we're going to eat now we will give you the aftermath when dinner is done and there you have it the finished product yes i'm going to enjoy this oh yes yes this is just how good it was the dog gets the remnants. One piece of beef and some gravy and some veggies. It was so good. I'm so miserable right now. I cannot even express it. So I'm going to go back to watching old reruns of Castle with Lee and we're shutting it down for the night. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, like and subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, whatever. Do what you want to do. I'm so stuffed I don't care what you do. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one.